So once the family has made the decision to choose cremation, they also have a very big decision to make on what they're going to do with the cremator remains. Too often families say, well, we're just gonna take dad home. And I ask the question right back, well, where will dad's cremator remains be in 10, 20, 40 years from now? Too often they end up in a closet, a garage, trunk of a car, a building that gets sold, and people come to us and say, I don't know what to do with these cremated remains that we just found. And so it's important that you make the decision of a permanent placement. That can be in a cemetery, in a niche, where that would be above ground in a cubicle, where the family would have a place of reverence to come and visit, bring flowers, and learn a little bit about their loved one. They can be scattered, and that can be over water or over a mountain. But if they're gonna be scattered on private property, it's important to have permission from the property owner. Or oftentimes people will divide the cremated remains into a keepsake. A keepsake can be anything from a smaller vessel that holds a small amount of the cremated remains. It could be cremation jewelry. It could even be glass cremation art where the cremated remains are swirled into beautiful artworks. Whatever the family decides to do, it's important that there's a long-term decision made so they're not just left at home unclaimed.